we will now determine whether a sequence is an arithmetic sequence or not. Before we do that, we need first to define what is arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which the difference between two, between any two consecutive terms is the same. Let's take, for example, the, the sequence 21, 31, 41, 51, and so on. Let's check the difference between any two consecutive terms. 31 minus 21 is 10. 41 minus 31 is 10. 51 minus 41 is 10. As you can see, all the difference between any two consecutive terms are the same. Therefore, this sequence is an arithmetic sequence. This constant difference is called common difference and will be denoted by D. So in this sequence again, we can say that the common difference or D is equal to 10. To illustrate it more, to find the common difference D, subtract any terms from one that follows it. Considering the sequence 2, 5, 8, 11, and 14, let's first identify what is the first term, that is 2. The second term, that is 5. The third term, that is 8. 4th term, 11, and 5th term, 14. Now, let's try to get the now let's try to get the common difference. Let's subtract 2 from 5. We have 3. Let's subtract 5 from 8, and we have 3. Let's subtract 8 from 11, we have 3. And lastly, let's subtract 11 from 14. So, we have also 3. Therefore, this 2, 5, 8, 11, and 14 is an arithmetic sequence because they have a common difference of three. Now observe these examples. On the first example, 7, 14, 21, 28, it is an arithmetic sequence with a common difference of seven. Check that, 14, 7 minus 14 is seven, 21 minus 21 minus 14 is also 7. Then 28 minus 21 is also 7. That's why the common difference is 7. On the next example, 28, 24, 20, and 16, and so on, it is also a, an arithmetic sequence with a common difference of negative 4. Let's try to do that. 24 minus 28 is negative 4. 20 minus 24 is negative 4. 16 minus 20 is negative 4. So therefore, the common difference of this sequence is negative 4. Now compare both arithmetic sequence. The first one, 7, 14, 21, 28, has a descending pattern from 7 to 4, ascending pattern, I should say. 7, 14, 28, 27. As you can see, if it is in ascending pattern, the common difference is positive. If it is descending, 28, 24, 20, 16, the common difference is negative. It's nice to keep that in mind for future references. On the last term, 0, 1 third, 2 thirds, 1, 4 over 3, the sequ this is an arithmetic sequence with a common difference of 1 third. And how is that possible? Let's try to put all of this term first into a fraction. 1 is equal to 3 over 3 and then the 4 over 3. Now let's try to subtract this. We have 1 third, we have 1 third, we have 1 third, we have 1 third. So therefore, the common difference is 1 third. Be careful. Always check to make sure that the difference is the same between each term. Let's try for example number one. Find the first term in the common difference of each arithmetic sequence. Let's go with letter A. So as you can see, this one is in descending order. So let's assume that the common difference is negative. So first, let's find the first term. The first term is 1. It is denoted by A sub 1. And the common difference is negative 5. 
So D is equal to negative 5. So this is the first term and the common difference. To illustrate it more, I would like to put it in this way. 4 minus 1 plus negative 5. And negative 9 minus negative 4. Since it is double negative, we will change it into positive. We will get negative 5. And so on and so forth. Example, letter, example number one, letter B. Find the first term and the common difference of the sequence 11, 23, 35, 47. This is in ascending order. So let's assume that our common difference is positive. So for our first term, A sub 1 is equal to 11, and B is equal to 23 minus 11 is... 12. This is also 12. This is also 12. The common difference is 12. Now determine whether the given sequ sequence is arithmetic or not. If it is arithmetic, find the common difference. In number 1, this is an arithmetic sequence. The common difference is negative Four. Number two is not an arithmetic sequence. First, as you can see, we have here um, eight, eight, eight. But here, look at this. This is only seven. This make it not an arithmetic sequence. Again, this is A. This is not an arithmetic sequence. D is equal to negative 4. This is an arithmetic sequence. D is equal to 4. This is not an arithmetic sequence. This is an arithmetic sequence where d is equal to 5. So that's it. Now let's try this. List the next four terms of an arithmetic sequence given a sub 1 and the common difference. Let's try for number 1 first. So we have here negative 4. All we have to do for this is to add the common difference d. So 4 plus 4 is 0. 0 plus 4 is 4, then 4 plus 4 is 8, then 8 plus 4 is 12. In this case, let's add negative 3 to 7. Plus negative 3, that would be um, 4. Plus negative 3, that is 1. Plus negative 3, that is negative 2. Plus negative 3. That is negative 5. So that is the answer for 1 and 2. Now let's go to number 3. So all we have to do is to add this. 8. 11 plus 8 is 19. 19 plus 8 is 27. 27 plus 8 is 35. 35 plus 8 is 40. Three. Uh, that's correct. Now let's go to number four. Sixteen plus negative five is eleven. Sorry for that. Let me erase it. Okay, 16 plus negative 5, that is 11. 11 plus negative 5, that is 6. 6 plus negative 5, that is 1. 1 plus negative 5 is negative 4. So that is the answer for that. Now let's go to the final number. A sub 1 is 2x plus 1, then D is x plus 1. Let's just add 
x minus 1 here. So let's add this. So we have cancel this. We have 3x. Then 3x plus x minus 1. So we have copy na minus 1 and we have 4x plus x minus 1. We have 5x minus 2. Then we have x minus 1. We have 6x minus 3. So that is the answer for this number. So just remember your polynomials. So that's it for the, the introduction or the definition of arithmetic sequence. Again, this, the, the arithmetic sequence can be determined if the sequence has a common difference. That's all. Goodbye.